Well, I am Tammy Butler with Kingdom Builders Ministry, and I thank you for joining me on today as we continue to move forward in God's Word and in His promises and all that He has for our lives so that we will understand how to fight this battle. There's a battle that's going on, and it's going on in the spirit. And we have to make sure that we're getting stronger and stronger in him so that we can be victorious in every area of our lives. Whereas we are approaching 2022, amen, amen, for all those that God has allowed us to uh, be able to be, you know, to face a new year a new season and a new time. And I just pray that we are are mindful and and, and grateful and just in thanksgiving, trusting and believing him for all that he has for our lives and for our ministries so that we're able to make a difference in uh, these areas that he has for us, to be able to make a difference in... Uh, and, and just what he's called us to do. So, Father God, we just thank you, Lord. We just bless your holy name. And it's in Jesus' name we ask these things, Father. Amen and amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Well, we're going to start off with our scripture that I sent out, which is Proverbs. Proverbs 3, verse 5 and 6. Proverbs Proverbs 3, verse 5 and 6. I'm getting some background noise. Let me see if I can mute it out. Okay, that seems like that is much better. I hope that you can still hear me. Proverbs 3, 5 and 6 says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart with all your mind, with your body, your soul, lean not into your own understanding. In all of your ways, acknowledge him, and he shall direct your path. Well, this is a great time to refocus our hearts and refocus our thoughts on this particular uh, scripture, because coming into uh, 2022, we definitely want to have our focus and we want to have our trust and we want to have our thoughts on the heart of God. We want to believe and know that God's truth is the highest form of reality because we're going to see all sorts of things as we come into the new year. We're going to hear all sorts of things. We're going to hear about sickness, disease, financial distress, uh, 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 all types of things that are happening in the world. We've seen, you know, just things like with these tornadoes, things that we've never seen before. So more than ever, we're going to need to make sure that our trust is solely riding and standing on the word of God because God's truth is the highest form of reality. So we want to make sure that we're relying upon his wisdom, his power, his goodness, his promises, and his direction for our lives. Because as we see, we can be here today and we can be gone tomorrow. We can be feeling well today And we can have something that come up against us, some form of sickness that come up against us tomorrow, or some form of financial distress, or or something with our family, or friends, or our business, or our home. So we know that the only assurance we have is in the Word of God. And the Word lets us know that we can only walk this walk by faith. That's the only way that we can walk this walk. Because if we're not walking by faith, on the other side of faith is fear. And we know that walking in fear, we're not able to uh, hear from God. We're not able to uh, 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 walk in the fullness 
of his word and of his promises. We're not able to partake in the blessing that he has for our lives because that means we're not trusting. We're not wholly and securely relying upon him, relying upon his wisdom, relying upon his power and his goodness relying upon his promises because we're looking to our father for direction just as children we look to our parents for direction in every area you know whether it was for us to you know to be able to go over overnight by a friend or to get to and uh, fro from school or you know to make sure we had our lunch money we were totally relying upon the wisdom of those that God had entrusted us to. So, Father God, we thank you as we renew our mind, renew our hearts, renew our thoughts back to you. It says, trust in the Lord. I'm in Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not to your own understanding. So if I'm leaning not to my own understanding, that means that it's not by my strength. It's not by my might. It's not by who I think I am. It's not by my carnal confidence. You know, the confidence in maybe because I'm strong or maybe because my bills are paid this month or Maybe because I have certain friends in high places and I'm putting my trust there. But the word lets us know that that carnal confidence is not the confidence that we should be standing on. We should be standing on the power and the promises of God and looking only to him for direction in all our affairs. So we're in Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. So we're leaning not to our own understanding, but we're believing in our Father ways of doing things. We're believing in His direction and His goodness and His power. So the Word lets us know, lean not. As we come into this new year, as we come into this new season, lean not to our own understanding. But in all of our ways, all of our ways, that means that in everything that we can think of to even do, in everything in our life, we want to acknowledge our Father. We want to acknowledge Him, to know Him in greater ways than we knew Him this year. You know, we believe that, you know, with all of the, the time and and, and, and energy that we've spent into ministry and into the word and and into just getting to know him better. We're looking for an either, even greater revelation in 2022. Because only when things are revealed to us, only through God's revelation, are we able to act upon his word and act upon his promises. So we're believing for more and more to be revealed to us that as we go into this new season, that it is a greater season than it was in 2021. We know that 2021 brought all sorts of, 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 of difficulties and, you know, we're still uh, uh, learning more and more about, you know, the virus and the uh, 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 uh how people are experiencing different difficulties and all of these natural disasters that has happened in uh, 2021. But as we cling to his promises and as we cling to his word, you know, the word lets us know as we turn more and more away from how we do things, from our carnal ways, our carnal confidence, our way of doing things and turning to how the father uh, uh, is showing us and guiding us and directing us. I believe that revelation is going to be extremely important as we come into 2022 because revelation is that light bulb moment. 
that those times when things are revealed to us that we may not have quite understood it in the past. You know, there's things that I may have done in my past and I don't even know why I was doing them like that. But once I have revelation on it, once I'm able to see from within, once I'm able to have discernment on it, then I can change the way I approach that. I can change the way I understand that or, or I can have a better or greater uh, uh, understanding of it. So the word lets me know in Proverbs 3, 5, and 6, and this is a scripture that we all know. So I chose a scripture that was very familiar to all of us that, you know, we all quote, oh, trust in the Lord with all your heart, your mind, your body, your soul, you know, in all of our ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct our path. But I wanted us to reflect as we come into the new year to see, are we doing that? Are we trusting in him? Are we knowing him? Are we believing in wholly and securely relying upon his wisdom, his power, and his goodness? You know, one of the, 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 the things that I discovered in the Hebrew language, it talks about to own him. When it says in all of our ways, acknowledge him and know him to own him, to own his wisdom by following his counsel. You know, I never quite understood it like that, that I can take now ownership of this, you know, that I can now take ownership of this power. I can now take ownership of this goodness by being in expectation of being in success from him, through him, through he managing my affairs and and knowing that he will get the glory. You know, that's one of the things I made sure that I focused on when I was working. You know, I, as I talked to people and as people may have, you know, asked me about my faith and, you know, uh, why was I strong in a certain way or a certain area. And my whole thing was not so that you can see how good I am. But you can, I can point you to him so that you can see his glory. Because not only what he's doing in my life, because I'm still growing and I'm still learning. There's others that are more mature that he may be revealing himself even greater in their lives. And then there's others that may be just starting this journey. But wherever we are. It says that if we put our trust in him and we don't try to be carnal about it, to be like, well, you know what? This is what I think about it. Well, I just think I'm just going to do it like this. You know, I'm not going to consult uh, my father based on this. That, that's crazy. If we as believers at any point in our life, if we're not consulting our heavenly father, based on whatever it is that we're experiencing because he loves us with this great love that he wants to be a part of every area of our lives, everything that we're doing, every undertaking, anything that we could do. He wants to be involved in it. And now here I'm looking at the word that says we can own that relationship with him. We can own that so that he can direct our path. So the word says, and he shall direct our steps so that our, se our steps are safe. You know, you hear people say that a lot now, make sure, you know, you be safe. You know, people never would talk like that. Well, why is that? Because so many things are going on. You know, we're, we're in a season where there's, there's so much that's happening where, you know, people are now focusing on these types of things. Well, how can your family be safe? My family is all the way in Dallas. I have family here. I have family in New Orleans. I have family in Shreveport, Texarkana, Dallas. Well, in the only way I can make sure that they're safe, the only way that I can 
uh, make sure that they're covered is through me being in ownership with my father. Me owning into his power and his goodness. Being in expectation because he's sovereign. Knowing that he will direct my path. That he will make sure that my end result is a good result. So that my ways are safe and good. And have an expected end. Have a good end. Have a great end. So as I started this message, I started it with God's truth is the highest form of reality. God's truth. So how do we take his truth? How do we take his trust? We do it by faith. You know, we trust in many things. We trust in if we're working a job that we're going to get a paycheck. If we're retired that we're going to get some type of retirement. If we're on assistance, we're trusting that every month that that assistance is going to come in. Well, you're doing that by faith. You're already activating your faith. You're acting your, activating your faith and believing that what is already in place will continue for you. So it's the same way in the word of God. Knowing that God's truth is the highest form of reality. What are some of his truths? Well, let's just take a look at one. God says that we are healed. Well, you may say, well, I know people who are not healed at this time. I know people who are going through this and who are going through that. Well, we take this scripture by faith. We take that by his stripes, we are healed. We must take it by faith because we don't understand all the intricacies of what happens. But we know that by faith. That's how the worlds were framed. We know that by faith, God called light into existence. We know that by faith, this is how our Heavenly Father operates. So if we're going to do the things that He's doing, if we're going to, uh, by faith, have heavenly solutions and kingdom solutions, and know that his truth is the highest form. So yes, it may be a fact that someone is sick at this time. It may be a fact of that. But that's not God's truth. God's truth says that by the stripes that Jesus received, by the beating that he received, he's carried all of our sickness all of our disease. Now, that's something huge to wrap our minds around because we're not going to understand all of the intricacies of that. So that's why we must take it at the smallest form of our understanding and take it by faith so that we can now have a foundation to build upon for those that are sick in our family, for those that are going through any kind of challenges and diseases, it is on us to pray that by his stripes they are already healed. Because the word lets us know that the Father says he already knows. He's, he already knows the beginning from the end. We don't know the end unless we say, okay, you know, we know that we win. But what does that mean in our everyday life? That means that we trust in the Lord with all of our heart, our mind, our soul, and all of our ways acknowledge him. And he shall direct our paths. We want him to direct our paths based on sickness. Because I don't want to be sick if I know that I can be healed. I mean, nobody wants to be sick. But I don't want to be tolerating with sickness. I don't want to be putting up with sickness. I don't want to be walking around telling people, you know, I'm sick or, you know, I'm going through this. Or I'm going to. I remember years ago, I picked up a statement that says that I'm going through a healing. You know, anytime I'm under the weather or anytime I'm 
you know, experience some, some things. And I know that there's uh, so many things that are out there that, 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 that are very serious that we could experience. But pick up a new truth, a new truth which is God's truth, which is the highest form of reality. I'm going through a healing then versus I'm sick. I'm going through a healing then versus I'm not feeling well or, you know, whatever these things are that we could say about it. You know, uh, the word lets me know that death and life are in the power of my tongue, my tongue, my tongue, my mouth. You know, death and life, Proverbs uh, 18 and 21, are in the power of what I say. And whatever side I lean on, that's the side that I'm going to see more of. Because I'm going to be constantly fueling that side. I'm going to be constantly uh, uh, engaging that side. I'm going to be constantly putting more energy and effort into that side. But the word is telling me that by his stripes, I am healed. So let's pick up a new truth. I'm going through a healing. Let's be mindful as we come into 2022, the words that come out of our mouth, that we're not speaking words of death, D-E-A-T-H. We're not speaking those types of things. We're not speaking words of lack which means that words that say I don't have enough. Now, I may look at my bank account and it may not be what I would like to see in there, but that should not change that God's truth is the highest form of reality. So that means that if I want to see something different, I must say something different. If I want to see a new reality, I must apply this new reality and make this new reality my own. So I should no longer say things like I'm broke. I should no longer say things like I'm, uh, uh, I'm not able to uh, do certain things or, or I'm not able to uh, 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 complete or or, 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 or grow in these particular ways. My reality now has to be God's truth. And yes, God's ways are far higher than our ways and far greater than our ways. So many times it's hard to get to that level, but it's not impossible. Because the word lets me know that all things are possible and greater is he that is within me than he that is in the world. Greater is he that lives inside of each and every one of us is greater than all of the foolishness and all of the craziness and all of the sickness and all of the disease if we believe. But we have to take it by faith. Romans 1 and 17 tells me that for the gospel reveals the righteousness of God that comes by faith from start to finish. So I have to start out in faith. And that means I have to finish in faith, which means I have to live by faith. The righteous will live by faith. The just will live by faith. If we're going to see different results, or different heavenly solutions because we're trusting in God, we're acknowledging him, we're owning him, we're, we're owning him by expecting all that he has for us because it says that he is the one that does the work. When we look at John, John 10 and 14, it lets us know it's not, we're not doing it. It's not by our might. It's not by our power. So what is it costing me to change my truth to God's truth? I'm not doing the work. What is it costing me to speak that that person is healed? What is it costing me to put that out there? Because I'm putting God on the line. I'm not putting me on the line. I'm saying that my trust is in 
my father. My trust is in the word. My trust is in his goodness. My trust is in his power. My trust is in his sovereignty. So that don't make me doing the work. It's the father that's doing the work. Because my job is to live by faith. You know, I heard this statement long ago that said that faith is not for the faint of heart. Because sometimes faith will have you in a position. Faith will have you way out there, meaning in believing what the Father is saying, you don't have anybody around you that's thinking like that, that's talking like that, that's walking like that, that's believing like that. So it is not for the faint of heart. It is not for somebody that's wishy-washy. You know, the word lets us know you got to be hot or you got to be cold. You know, at least if you're cold, I know you're cold. But you can't be lukewarm because there's no power in being lukewarm. There's no power in, 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 in us uh, uh Wanting to walk in this trust because he can't direct our paths because we're 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 not hot we're 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 not walking in uh uh the ability or or the strength his strength not my strength not your strength there's a lot of times I don't feel strong I feel extremely weak. And I know coming into the new year, the new season, I'm looking for more of his power and more of his strength and more revelation and more prophecy and more wisdom and more counsel and more understanding and more success. But I can only look for that or have that type of expectation, have that type of uh, um, awareness for it, is by faith. Romans again, 1 and 17 says, For the gospel reveals the righteousness of God that comes by faith from start to finish. Just as it is written, the righteous will live by faith. The just will live by faith. Well, everybody's not going to believe that. Everybody's not going to believe that. You know, they're going to be like, it don't take all that. You know, you don't have to, you know, you should be able to say a Hail Mary and an Our Father and, and be okay. I was raised Catholic. That's what I thought many, many, many moons ago that I would say so many uh, prayers of this and so many prayers of that, and I still have family members that believe oh. like that. But there's no power in that because it's not in that type of repetitious, uh, uh, religious way of doing things. This is a total lifestyle as we go into 2022 that we are renewing our mind, we're renewing our thoughts, we're renewing our ways. To want to understand how to live by faith, how to walk by faith, how to have uh, God's truth so that we can have the highest form of reality, kingdom reality, heavenly reality. So that when we look at someone or we look at ourselves, we can speak over ourselves or that person and say, by God's stripes, you are healed. And we don't change that confession. We continue to stay with that confession because the word lets us know that the truth and only the truth will set us free. 